Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft OneNote. In this module, I want to show you how to create and save a template and how to use templates in OneNote. So what I've got is a blank section with called templates and just one page called main on it. So first of all, what I want to do is create a template where there are a couple of links to one, a spreadsheet and two, a video diagram and then save that as a template that I can use at a later date. So first of all, up the top here on insert, you've got spreadsheet and diagram. So if I click on spreadsheet, you've got two options, existing spreadsheet or a new one. Well, I just want a new one. So I'll click on the new one. And then what I'm gonna do is just put a couple of things in there and you just save it so you can see how this works. So I'm just gonna double click on this to open it in Excel so I can see what I'm doing and then I'm just going to create a three items date item price and then I'll put today's date in there control semicolon for those who don't know that in Excel bring it down so I'll have hotel car food so it's like an expense thing and then price 200 car 50 pound petrol and food 25 pound alt equals will add them up just and then format those two pounds and then see it says main that's that's one note and spreadsheet i just need to save that like so and then close this down and then that should be available to me in there i can just double click back on it and it will come back on there it is and you can eventually it just appears there in this little mini preview so that's the first one so next one i want to have a visio diagram available and i'm going to do a new one as well so this is just going to be a process um, diagram that i want to create it'll just be a blank set of shapes that i can then use as and when i wish same thing i'm just going to double click on that to open up visio so first of all, let's put the connector tool on and then we do a start and then a process. Connector tool does that. We'll have a decision. We'll have another process. So it's just a blank um, set of steps and then end like so. So that's it. Save that. And if I close this video down, you get the drawing preview in OneNote. So there's the two links that I want. Now, what I now need to do is save this as a template. So on the insert, on the insert tab, normally you're on the home tab. On the insert tab, you've got templates. And these are all preset templates. But if I click on this option, it will open up a pane down the right hand side. And it gives you some more options there. Quite a lot of templates in there, which I'll have a look at in a second. Down the bottom, it says create new template, save current page as a template. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to call this one links, save. And then I'm going to add a new page. Now on this new page, I do want to have a look at some of these templates. So you've got training induction, introduction. If I click on that one, this gives you a little bit of information there. I do another one simple lecture notes this is creating different pages allows you to create different notes project overview that's quite a good one all, all the time I'm creating pages as I'm doing this project to do list so these are little tasks you can you can type your own tasks in there and then tick these off when they're complete simple to do list Inf meeting notes gives you the ideas that you can use um, to create your own documents and you, you might not like this particular one so you can recreate one for yourself which I'll do in a second and um, just have a look at a couple more lecture notes study questions there you go now down this right hand side the actual pane you've got my templates you've got the first one that's the links one that I did so there it is now you've got these drop down arrows where you can expand it and lots more history class notes let's put that one on yeah these are all pretty similar when you see them blank is blank 
informal meeting notes, personal meeting, and decorative Bruce Stripe title. Yeah, very nice. So they're all the different types of ideas that you can have a look at and then recreate if you so wish in your own time. So there's a lot of these styles, different types of styles. And then the last group down the bottom there, the very bottom is planners, to-do lists, etc., etc., which I've already looked at. So if I create a new page, add a page, so I've got a blank page here, and I want to do some sort of project plan myself, so this is me doing one, let's get a table of four by four, that'll do. So we'll have the first um, column as tasks, and then we'll have start, I'm just pressing tab to come across end and priority. And then we'll just move that task one a bit wider than that, or quite wide. So if we just test this, and we can get rid of the um, information afterwards. Just add a few more. Get a little bit bigger than that. So we want to be able to put a date in there. So I might have to make that column a bit wider. So if I go 0, 01, 0, 01, 20, 22. Okay, it spreads itself. That's good. So I'll do 0, 01, 0, 01, 20, 22. That'll fit in there, and then priority I want A, B, C, so A will do. So I'm just going to test this one, type some information in there, see if it's what I want. Yeah, it's just going to wrap, wrap around, which is great. So that's how I want it to be. So I can now just save this page as project plan in my templates in the same way as I did with the other one. So you go, make sure you've got your templates paying up, and then you save the current page as a template and give it a name. So I'll just call it Project Plan. Hopefully there's not one already called that. Project Plan's at the bottom. And then main, you've got your links page and all the other ones you can either close up now. You don't need to have these or you can get rid of them and you can close this. But just before I close this, let's have a quick look, see if it's appeared in there. It has appeared in there. Now on these templates, um, before you save the template, you can actually, if you so wish, create links. If I just go um, training there as a link, so if I just double click on that and go back to the insert tab, I've got a link option. So you can link to anywhere in this book on any of these tabs, uh, any, any page, even a template if you want. But if I go to templates that's this one that's what we've just been doing and I want to link to the main that's the main page okay to that you see the little hyperlink there just takes me straight to the main page so from project plan and then if you just save that as a template as long as that page exists it would then find that page and link to it but that's all I want to talk about in this little session just looking at templates the ones that are preloaded and how to create your own templates simple quick process so hopefully that was of use Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one.